All right, so this is the September 4th, 2019 update for the flippening. So if we look at, if we look, we're down to 133,485 packs. And, uh, you know, I thought we were going to be done by the end of August, but that did not end up happening. But any day now, uh, I, I'm much more confident that we will not make it to the end of September. So, um, let's see. So I went to Peak Monsters and I updated all my pricing. And then uh, we have our spreadsheets here. So, um, the Dark Energy Crystal price this morning was 0 0.000812, so 81 cents per thousand. And um, if we look at the rewards card, average rewards card is 11 cents in market value. Now, if we turn on Legendary Potions, uh, the yield on that goes up by well, 362%, which is pretty good. And on gold potions, it actually comes down to 190. That's interesting. So, uh, you know, rewards cards are always a little tricky because, you know, they're free. You know, the base cost is free. Um, but uh, then potion cost kind of creates a basis with which you can compare. Orbs, if you buy the 110 pack promo, uh, then your base yield is 11% in market value. It's minus 58% in dark energy crystal terms. If we turn on legendaries, it goes up to 23%, which is good, and goes up again to 42% if we have legendary and gold potions. So that's a solid buy if you're doing orbs. Definitely worth the potions. And then betas, if we do the Maverick pack, 575, base yield is negative 11%. So the straight up flipping is has turned off at this point, um, at least for betas. So um, what happens when we add in potions? Legendary potions brings it up to 3%, and legendary and gold brings it up to 13%. So, you know, that's still pretty solid. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting though. We've seen uh, we've seen prices shift. Uh, you know, prices have gone up in betas to the point to arbitrage away the um, the profit in buying packs, at least from a uh, without potion uh, perspective. But when we turn the potions on, we're getting 13%, which is still pretty good. Um, you know, I think it was 8% uh, prior. So. so we're looking good there. Obviously, in dark energy crystal terms, not a good buy, but. Um, that <laughs> that is to be expected so yeah that is the current status and um, you know I think I was talking with a friend of mine who's thinking about you know investing in splinter lands and uh, you know so there's two hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars worth of packs left you know if I had the money I would you know, I'd buy them all and set them all up on Heron's Unlimited accounts. And as you see my other video about uh, the season results for that. And uh, I think it's just it's just the best deal going. Uh, especially with, you know, we've seen Bitcoin kind of bouncing around between 9,000 and 11,000. And uh, I think we will see some, uh, some downtrend uh, in that. I Personally, I think we're going to break... The 9,000 support or 9,400, whatever it is, and we're gonna go see. We're gonna see prices more like 8,000, 7,500, and at that point, I'm a I'm a Bitcoin buyer, but uh, not until then. So, you know, any kind of investment that you're looking at, when you're looking at yields, it's in comparison to what, right? In comparison to holding your money um, as just you know dry powder, uh, as comparison to, to buying stocks with dividends or or uh, ETFs or bonds or whatever it is, or you want to do options plays. So, you know, the, um, oh, there's my Brave ad. Uh, so the, if we're just looking at betas and we're looking at 13%, you know, that's, uh, that's an immediate return uh, in market value. And then we have cash flow on top of that. So if you, if you see my other video uh, on the, on the rental income, you know, in the Heron's accounts, I'm making 25%, and that's even with using the higher price gold uh, cards. So if I have 13% plus 25% annual, um, then, you know, where are you going to beat that? And then at that point, the only speculation is, will Splinterlands, you know, disappear and die, or will it continue to be a game and gain in popularity? And that's really the fundamental speculation, because other than that, 
you know, this is this is one of the best things you know going as far as I'm concerned. If you have other suggestions for things that do better, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Until then, we'll talk later. And uh, that is the flipping status as of September 4th, 2019.